So I was doing a little homework for this and I hear you're a horror movie fan? I love it, yeah. I can talk about horror movies all day long <laughs> and I feel like the two go-to questions with that oh, is yeah. first, what is the first horror movie you ever saw? Gremlins, I was 10. Or nine, nine turn ten. Nine turning ten. Um, I, I begged my mom to let me watch it, and she finally let me watch it. And let me tell you, I was freaked out. <laughs> my mom went to the bathroom for a little break, and I screamed out, Mom! <laughs> and she said, what? Everyone's asleep. Why did you do that? I thought she got eaten by a gremlin. Understandable. <laughs> Those are a very good one to start with. Yeah. What is the scariest movie you've seen thus far? Us and It. But that's why they're my favorites. Okay. I, for two very different reasons, yeah, but yeah. I, I would definitely get behind both of those. Yeah. Did uh, Mike give you any movies other than The Shining to prep for this? No, um, it was we really just stuck to the script, and then I watched The Shining four times, so it was really um, a basic foundation, and I grew from there. <laughs> Did you ever uh, read the Doctor Sleep book? I read some of it, yes. Um, it was very heavy. But I did my best to get a grip on Evra. Okay, I think you definitely achieved that. Thank Have you, you uh, read any other Stephen King books? I'm reading The Stand now. Oh, oh my gosh, boy. I would love to see that on the screen. I mean, I don't know why that was like one of the last ones I thought you would say. That's like quite yeah. the undertaking. I know, it's so interesting. I love the characters and the story is just... I highly recommend The Institute. I'm and... reading it, I'm reading it. So there's a role <laughs> in it that they're gonna adapt it any day now and you need to be in that movie. I, I <laughs> really so think that's fun. the case, yeah. That would be so much fun. So with this movie now, I'm curious, was there any particular scene where on the schedule you circled it and said on that day I'm gonna be the most nervous? Cause you're working with such cool people, doing such big set pieces. I can well, imagine there's a whole bunch of answers. I mean, not really. I, I would circle them and say, I'm excited for that day, let's do this. <laughs> but sometimes it would get a little overwhelming because I was new to film, but having Mr. Ewan and Miss Rebecca there was a real treat. Yeah, it was a real comfort. They were kind of yeah. like my mentors. Mentor they seem like gems. They are, they're amazing. What about just with Abra's abilities? Did that make any of the scenes really complicated? Because it's not like she and Rose can stand there and, you know, face-to-face -face fist fight. <laughs> they're doing all this crazy stuff. Yeah, um, it was a lot of fun. Um, I got to use my imagination a lot and really worked off of that. So it wasn't that hard to just imagine what was going on. And I'm sure with someone as visual and someone with an <laughs> editing background like Mike actually, that probably yeah. really helps you out. Oh yeah, definitely. When I saw it all put together, I was like, whoa, how did he do that? Without maybe spoiling anything too big, is there any particular scene that when you saw it in its final version, you're like, whoa, I didn't know it looked like that? Um, definitely, definitely when Abra's kind of traveling through the world. I that was one thing that like, I don't think I ever could have envisioned yeah, anything like oh that gosh. in this movie. Yeah, I was on a wire and there was a blue screen um, window frame and I was so excited because I felt like I was flying. Sequence was one of my favorite sequences in the entire yes. film. Yay! Did you come up with an opera playlist? Well, I mean, I could a little. Um, I'm sure she'd have a lot of vintage songs. Um, a lot of Elvis Presley, maybe some, let me think, Jack Strubber, um, She'd listen to a bunch. <laughs> she's gotta have like the longest playlist ever. <laughs> Probably, I mean, she's always listening to music. Some Beyonce for some, yeah. Obviously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Were you actually listening oh, to anything in I any of the scenes? Um, no, sadly. I, I think I, I think Abra would mainly listen to Billie Eilish. That, that probably, mm -hmm. I would probably share a very similar playlist <laughs> with Abra. Um, what about just taking cool things home from the shoot with you? Did you Sadly, get to keep anything? I didn't. I, I lost a few things though. I lost you my lose? golden cat's cradle in Abra's backpack. I really wanted to take home her coat though. That coat is pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. What about little details in her room? We do get to learn a lot about her, but I always feel like in a character's bedroom set, there's always these little things that tell you a little more about the person. Well, she has a lot of ruby figures that I was so jealous of, I really <laughs> wanted them. And then there's her little bunny, her little bunny there. Her bunny, her art supplies, there's a lot of Ebra in her room.